What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Sunday, April 18th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a five game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. So at the top, if you want to pay up for point guard, take a look at Luka Doncic from the Dallas Mavericks playing the Sacramento Kings who have the fourth worst defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Luka Doncic has averaged 51.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 36% usage rate. He scored 60, 55, and 45 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 34, and 33 minutes. He's projected at 52 fantasy points here tonight, and that's five times value. He's 10,400 FanDuel salary, and he's 500 more on DraftKings. So I like this pick because he scored 76, 55, 63, 41, and 56 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Kings. So he's getting you five times value or more, or over five times value in his last four out of five games. And he's got a great matchup here, fast paced game. So I like Luka Doncic here versus the Sacramento Kings. Okay, another point guard that I like is Cole Anthony from the Orlando Magic playing the Houston Rockets, who have the second worst defense overall and they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Cole Anthony has averaged 23.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 33, 20, and 21 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 20, and 21 minutes. So I like that he played 29 minutes last game, and I'm hoping that he gets the same amount of playing time here tonight. He's projected at 26 fantasy points, and that's 5.2 times value. He's 5,000 fan dual salary and 800 more on DraftKings. He scored 24 fantasy points in his last game versus the Rockets, but if he can get close to 29 minutes here tonight, I think he's gonna crush value. He's got a great matchup. So I like Cole Anthony here versus the Houston Rockets. Okay, another point guard that I like is Malachi Flynn from the Toronto Raptors playing the Oklahoma City Thunder, who have the second worst defense overall, and they give up the eighth most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Malachi Flynn has scored 27, 37, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 32, and 35 minutes. He's projected at 28 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 5,600 FanDuel salary and 300 more on DraftKings. So he's playing a bunch of minutes. He's been productive, great matchup, fast paced game. So I like Malachi Flynn here versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like CJ McCollum from the Portland Trailblazers playing the Charlotte Hornets, who have the seventh worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing shooting guards. CJ McCollum has averaged 
38.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. He scored 44, 35, and 26 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 37, 37, and 35 minutes. He's projected at 39.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 7,900 fan duel salary and 800 more on DraftKings. So I love that fan duel price. He scored 40 fantasy points in his last game versus the Hornets. So I like CJ McCollum mostly on fan duel here versus the Charlotte Hornets. Okay, another shooting guard that I like is Tim Hardaway Jr. from the Dallas Mavericks playing the Sacramento Kings who have the fourth worst defense overall and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Tim Hardaway Jr. has averaged 23.4 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 21, 12, and 14 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 24, 22, and 21 minutes. So he hasn't had the best production two out of those last three games, not very good, but he's projected at 20.9 fantasy points here tonight. That's just about five times value. He's 4,300 fan duel salary and 300 more on DraftKings. So if he can get his season average of 23 or 24 fantasy points, that would be over five times value. And I like this pick because he scored 27, 35, 31, and 36 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Kings. So I like Tim Hardaway Jr. here versus the Sacramento Kings. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I'm gonna give you a value play here. I like Caleb, Caleb Martin from the Charlotte Hornets playing the Portland Trailblazers, who have the ninth worst defense overall in their middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Caleb Martin, he scored 21, seven, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 30, 23, and 35 minutes. He's projected at 21 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.4 times value. He's 3,900 fan duel salary and 500 more on DraftKings. He scored 19 fantasy points in his last game versus the Trailblazers, but I think he could crush value here if he can get 30 minutes or more. So I like Caleb Martin here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, another small four that I like, another value play. I like Carmelo Anthony from the Portland Trailblazers playing the Charlotte Hornets, who have the seventh worst defense overall, and they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Carmelo Anthony has averaged 22.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He scored 16, 30, and three fantasy points in the last three games, playing 24, 28, and 15 minutes. So a huge, a wide range of outcomes, but I like the risk here tonight. He's projected at 20.8 fantasy points. That's 5.1 times value. He's 4,100 fan duel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. And I like this pick because he scored 54, 37, 21, 16, and 33 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Hornets. So excellent player versus team history. Great matchup. So I like Carmelo Anthony here versus the Charlotte Hornets. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, 
just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Harrison Barnes from the Sacramento Kings playing the Dallas Mavericks, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing power forwards, but Harrison Barnes has averaged 30.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He scored 23, 23, and 42 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 39, 39, and 42 minutes. So he's playing monster minutes, and he's projected at 31.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.4 times value. He's 5,800 FanDuel salary and 800 more on DraftKings. So I love that FanDuel price. So I like Harrison Barnes here versus the Dallas Mavericks. Another power forward that I like, another value play for you. I like Kim Birch from the Toronto Raptors playing the Oklahoma City Thunder, who have the second worst defense overall, and they give up the eighth most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Kim Birch has scored 25, 32, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 26, 29, and 25 minutes. He's projected at 24 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.3 times value. He's 4,500 FanDuel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. It's a great matchup, a fast-paced game. He's playing a bunch of minutes now, well over his season average. He's been productive. I think he's a great play here tonight. So I like Kem Birch here versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Wendell Carter Jr. from the Orlando Magic playing the Houston Rockets, who have the second worst defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing centers. Wendell Carter Jr. has averaged 27.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. But he scored 35, 47, and 31 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 31, and 29 minutes. He's projected at 33 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.2 times value. He's 6,400 FanDuel salary, and he's the same price on DraftKings. This is a great matchup here. He's playing a bunch of minutes, and he's been super productive. So I like Wendell Carter Jr. here versus the Houston Rockets. Another center that I like is Kelly Olynyk from the Houston Rockets playing the Orlando Magic, who have the fifth worst defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing centers, Kelly Olynyk has averaged 26.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. But he scored 36, 49, and 27 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 27, 38, and 29 minutes. He's projected at 32 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 6,300 FanDuel salary and 500 more on DraftKings. And he did score 45 and 38 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Magic. So I like Kelly Olynyk here versus the Orlando Magic. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.